Well, what a warm and windy November day. 75 degrees southeast, southeasterly wind at 18 miles per hour with a dew point at 55. So nice and warm and muggy conditions across the southeastern region. Mid to upper 70s, 77 in Jackson and Shreveport. And a little bit cooler in Fort Smith sitting at 63. Now just off to the west in Oklahoma City. They're actually in the lower to mid 50s. So that's a little bit of what we could expect to see tomorrow into the later parts of this week. Now we do have some clouds really rolling into the state right now and some really light spotty showers just to the south. But we are really watching this line of storms stretching from Arkansas to Oklahoma and to parts of eastern Texas. Now we did have some of these storms close to the coast that were tornado warned, but thankfully we won't be seeing anything that severe coming to the region tonight into early parts of tomorrow morning. Now once that front really moves through, we can see some showers and thunderstorms along that boundary but after that front pushes through the area we'll see the return of chilly conditions so that means highs in the lower 50s and lows in the lower 30s too and possibly we could see lows in the upper 20s so some areas could see the return of some frost advisories and even freeze warning so that's something that we need to look watch out for later on in the week now future cast is showing the line of storms right along the Mississippi River pushing across around 12:45 a.m. Now this is our best window for some severe weather, so possibly some strong storms and some hail and even some gusty winds. But around uh, 5 a.m., that line will be right over the I-55 corridor. And by the time this line reaches the Tupelo go to Triangle area, it will weaken weaken quite well. So storms will really dissipate by the time it hits the Golden Triangle area at 8 a.m. But once the line passes through, we'll be left with clear skies around rush hour on Wednesday, and clear skies will persist even into Thursday and until the remainder of of the week and but tonight clouds really start to roll into the area 61 degrees warm and breezy storms really starting to arrive late southeasterly winds from 10 to 20 miles per hour and tomorrow 68 degrees now notice this will be a morning high so that means you go to class and it'll be a little bit muggy but once you get out of the class and after that front pushes through things will really start to cool down into the 50s so storms early p.m. clearing and that southeasterly wind will switch to north from 5 to 15 miles per hour really bringing in that cooler and drier air into the region so that's something we should look forward to tomorrow now by thursday 59 degrees in the same story on Friday, and look at that low 47, dipping it down to the lower 30s. So, like I said, possibility for some freeze and frost warnings. And Saturday, just in time for the tide to roll into Starkville, 66 degrees. So, perfect weather to watch the Bulldogs beat Alabama this weekend. Sunday, 70 degrees, lows down into the 50s. So, overall, we do have some showers tonight, but a wonderful week and weekend in store. I'm Brittany Bell. Thanks for stopping by.